everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLayDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. I look a little different today because I left my junk at home and hat and uh, hat at home. Oh my God. Dogs not let me sleep, y'all. Anyway, left my junk and hat at home in favor of the warm one because for the next two days, it's colder than it has been all season. And then it's going to get up to almost 50. <laughs> Y'all like the weather in Minnesota? Just wait a day. Tomorrow it'll be different. It'll be even colder tomorrow. But I have to go to pick it today. I have an online doctor's appointment. I'm going to go home and do that. But I'm, <laughs> I'm not going there right away. Okay, you can't tell my husband. You, this is between you and I, all right? <laughs> so yesterday, what did I go on Facebook for? Oh, I wanted to check the group, see if there was anything I needed to respond to or anything, anyone wanting, waiting to get into the group. And down below, a marketplace said there were 50 new listings in my area and I was like, I'm just gonna click. I'm just gonna click. I'm not gonna buy anything. So a couple weeks ago, I had seen this coffee table. It was an old vintage trunk, one of the metal trunks made into a coffee table with hairpin legs. It's all scratched up, it's old. The woman had been using it for a coffee table, she said for like 10 years or something like that. And it's, it's scratched. It needs some love. She had 50 bucks on it. And I'm like, ooh, 50 bucks. And yesterday, she dropped the price to 30. The legs are worth 30. I mean, the last set of hairpin legs I bought were like 30. So I bought it. That's where I'm on my way. She lives like two miles from my house. She's just down the road from me and I'm like, all right, guess I'm, guess I'm doing this. And I don't know, I mean, from the pictures, she put the legs on correctly. So you have to put wood blocks in the corners to attach the legs to because there's no real structure to the base of a, I've done a trunk coffee table conversion. My sister owns it. Um, but there's no real structure to the bottom of those things. So you do have to put in some kind of bracing in the bottom. I did mine a little different all the way across on mine, but she did four corner blocks. I'm thinking I'll probably put a fake bottom on there to cover that. And then I have been thinking it over and I can either paint it or strip it down to the bare metal. I want to see what it looks like under there. So I think I'm going to pick it up today and then take a little acetone to it and see what that metal looks like underneath there. I think it would look really cool and industrial if we stripped all the color off of it. And if I decide that that's not the case, I do have a black gloss that would be perfect on it. It's in the car. Feels like wood. Yeah, it might be wood. We might be painting this bad boy. Oh, it's in. <laughs> um, it's got leather on the sides, which is very cool, except somebody's painted over the leather. So I don't know that stripping it is going to be an option. And it does look like this is wood. So, looks like we're gonna paint. Um, top is now you can see the sides are pretty scratched up maybe you can't can you see that <laughs> you see it now very scratched 
very loved. The, the top is metal. The sides are wood. Hmm. No, it's... What the hell are you? Y'all, okay, so first of all, let's finish this. So let's get it out of here. Turned out all right. It's done. That's what we know. She's done. The hard coat feels just like a clear coat. I, I see no difference between hard coat and clear coat. But this, this, I, I don't know, maybe needs another coat. I see a couple spots where it looks like the clear mist. You know, like when you wax. Worst paint ever is chalk paint. Used to, uh, when it first came out, I was like, ooh, chalk paint. I'm going to sell chalk paint. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, no, it's not. I'm reformed. Anyway. Uh, the top of this is a lot worse off than the sides, so it definitely needs to have some love on it. These little brass pieces are really nice, except they're rusted out. Um, maybe our peak polish can make those look pretty again. We have to do that before the paint, though, huh? Maybe the peak could polish the whole thing. It's just scratched. And it does say you can use it on paint. Find out. Brass looks nice now. Um, it doesn't do much for the paint, though. Here, does it? Cleans it. Needs a good cleaning. It's been loved. Let's put it that way. It's not the worst piece I've ever seen. Not the best piece I've ever seen. The leather actually polished up pretty nice too. All right, so we're gonna polish up the brass and the leather. We painted this one. She needs a good cleaning. It did make the leather look real nice, didn't it? this leather over it, the whole thing? It's clean now. You can hear where it goes from clean to not clean. Not clean. Clean. Not clean. Anyway, peak isn't going to do much. I want to see it on this scratch, what happens here, because this scratch is pretty, pretty gnarly. I'm still playing. I'm still playing. Nothing. It's going to need a coat of paint. For sure. We're just going to re revive it.
You've seen better days, but I'm sure you've seen worse. Sure are pretty. I wonder where this trunk has been. Like, who carried it? Where it's been? That's part of my job is like wondering the stories behind the stuff. I'm not sure if I like the stories more or the romanticism of it. Or, you know, it could have just, you know, it could have all body parts. We don't know. We don't know. Needs a good cleaning is what it needs. So we'll start there and then we'll go from there. Um, the rust on this brass here. Fudge sickles. I have to sand that off. We're going to we're gonna have to be a little aggressive on that. Or, or we clear it and call it patina. She's sturdy, so start with a bath, start sanding. We're gonna oil up the leather, clean that up. I need to improve the leather, I think. I've got that brown leather paint. Maybe I can just bring this back a little bit. Or, or Angelus Leather Paints has a dye. Anyone think I should just dye it? bring it back um it definitely needs to be oiled though it's it's getting dry and i don't want it to eventually just snap off there so we're gonna have to clean that restore it both handles are still intact that's amazing that doesn't happen very often the nice thing is is it's not heavy most people don't want a 900 pound coffee table that they can't move around so it's not heavy. It's a good size. It's got storage. Ticks all the boxes, right? I mean, seriously, ticks all the boxes. Just needs some love. Just needs a clean up. That I can do, but these legs were totally worth it. These hairpin legs. Love the hairpin legs. <sighs> got a little bit of damage there. I'm happy for 30 bucks. I'm going to probably do a second coat of clear on this, get ready for my doctor's appointment, and then I'll talk to you guys when I'm on my way to pick it. Well, the temperature's dropped since we were outside last. Oh, just walking out to my car. I didn't put my gloves on. I am really regretting that. I got them in my pocket. Before I go in to pick it, I will get my gloves on. So for this month, I'm not doing a whole lot because I didn't sell a lot last month, which means not a lot has moved. So I'm adding a couple pieces, <clears throat> probably to the upstairs booth because I'm really good in the upstairs booth. So then I'm going to move those up. I've got a small, the small table we gave a drink to in the front seat. That's going to go in my primary booth. And then I'm taking a table out. Then I'm going to paint gray. The magic gray, y'all. We're going to magic gray that. I made myself my own Egg McMuffin. Y'all, so much better. And by the way, so I bought the cage-free organic eggs because they were $2 less than regular eggs. Why? Why are they? Anyway, they were $2 less at Wally World and then the regular Walmart eggs. So I bought the cage for organic eggs. They cook up nicer. Like it all stayed together while they're fresh. It's like when our neighbor used to have chickens and you'd get the fresh eggs. They're different. Fresh eggs are different. Way different. I mean, the regular eggs, they do the job. But like when you're making a McMuffin, and everything just stays so perfect. It was perfect. It was a perfect egg. When I cooked it, I went, wow, oh, I made a perfect egg. Then I had Canadian bacon and cheese. Oh, I was starving. Freaking starving. It's because I ate breakfast this morning. When I woke up, I thought, I'm hungry. So I ate. And then it gets worse. Like, worse. It's not even 10 o'clock. 10.30. 10.30 now, but by 10 o'clock, I was starving. Like I hadn't eaten in a year. 
you're starving. But let's get to pick it. Get this work done. Get it off my plate. And then tomorrow, maybe I can just paint. Saturday is another archery tournament. This one in New Prague. Sorry, Prague. We call it New Prague. Driving not to New Prague. Just a heck of a drive. It's an all day. This is an all day. All day tournament. So we're going to head down there. And that means I'll get any work done. We're here, and as I suspected, not much is gone. So the Craftsman Toolbox sold last month, and then it's just pretty much the same upstairs. So I'm adding this high chair and the candle holder that I brought from Vintage Junkie. Uh, they've been here before, but it's the Sweetheart sale now, and they're going on sale. So a bunch of stuff is going to get marked down. February is our sale month, like our discount days kind of thing. So I'm about to mark down a bunch of stuff in here. People made a mess, I see. Ah, they made a mess. I'm so glad they didn't let me down in that front. Yay, yay. All right, I just went through and marked down a bunch of stuff. So this is what it's going to be, as you can see. Sale. This is not, I just put that in. Sale, 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 sale. Sale, 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 sale. I mean, I gotta mark it down and move it. And these decoys are on sale. Levels are on sale. Everything's on sale. All right, I moved that little table in there. And then this is the piece that's getting repainted. It's all dusty. Nobody wants it like that. I think it's cute. But I'm gonna mark a few pieces down in here and we'll go from there. Ooh, the wind. Oh, hang on out in the country and it, the wind just whips across those fields <laughs> just gets sandblasted by snow snow blasted not like something like that anyway i love being out in the country when it's junket season now i'm like going to pick up the kid i thought i'll drive through the country <laughs> i'm like i can remember where i picked up furniture all along this path keep hoping maybe I'll come around a corner but I've got that table back there that's the next victim in the shop I think it's cute but nobody wants it and Vintage Junkie doesn't want brown furniture so no brown furniture so I'm gonna paint that up get it in I do what I can do I do what I do I think maybe um, I'm done for the day definitely done for the day the shop is it is what it is there wasn't a lot sold last month so I only had to mark some stuff down I can maybe fill in some smalls but I could do that the tour is next Tuesday I don't have to go back tomorrow so that means tomorrow I get to paint all day I'm excited about that after I have finished with Max Victoria has play practice archery and a dance or is it just the dance? No archery. It's no archery. Well, there's archery, but she's not going to archery. She's going to anything. I don't have to pick her up till like 8 o'clock at night. So I'll finish with Max, go home, and just paint for 8 hours. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be wonderful. I love it. So that's all I've got for you today, you guys. Thanks for going on another junkin' adventure. We <laughs> Do not tell my husband about that table. Do not tell him about the trunk. He knows this one's coming home. He doesn't know that trunk is in there. He freaks out. <laughs> hey, I gotta make money. So we gotta do what we gotta do, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy checking. Love you. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week 
DIY tutorials, and of course, more Junkin videos.